All right, guys, Stugmaster here, and it is eight o'clock in the morning. Should have came up earlier. The park opens at at dawn, it closes at dusk. <laughs> so I've been a little lazy, but we are just on the outskirts of Gettysburg, near the near the bottom area. So if we look at our map, we are right here. And so if you see those little group of trees right there, where you see Alexander Hayes's name under shirts that's where we are right now this little grove of trees and right here in front of me is Alexander Hayes himself a good old friend of Ulysses S. Grant Alexander Hayes good friend so I haven't read this yet let's go over here there's nobody on the park yet which is nice because now I have free reign <laughs> Gettysburg National Military Park. Oh, okay. So this is just a big old monument for the park itself. Nothing on the back. All right. Of course, we have the uh, very historical Pickett's Buffet over there. Their motto, just charge it. There's the, there's the battlefield right there. There is the battlefield. Ziegler's Grove. Let's see what we got over here. This looks like a, a flank marker or two. Ninetieth Pennsylvania and the 126th New York. So if we look on our map here, let's see, let's see, where are we at? Ninetieth. Ninetieth Pennsylvania. Not seeing anything on here. But we could be looking at the wrong map at a different time. Because that's July 2nd. Late in the day, near nighttime. Let's take a look at this. Let's see what we got. No. Maybe, maybe. I done a little bit more research before I turned on the camera. But that's what it's all about, though. 90th Pennsylvania. Not seeing that. Not seeing that at all. But here's Hayes. Here's his name right here. So. Hmm. And I don't see both of them. This could be just a different, different time period. A different time in the battle. You know? There's Sickles. Sickles is way out there. I don't know. We'll take we'll take on a we'll go on a walk here. See what we got going on. Then maybe we can orient here. Orient ourselves. Mr. Alexander Hayes. Very good man. Very good man. Here's the 126th New York Infantry. Okay, second corps, third brigade. Third division. So second corps, I'm guessing this is all this is all because of the third day of the battle. Yep, July 3rd. July 3rd. So let's let's take a look at our, at our map here. On the monument. That's the wilderness. Get it, Gettysburg right here. Let's go to July 3rd. July 3rd. So I'm guessing this is where we are right here. It's right up here, Steinway and all that. Okay. 126 New York right there. There's that little grove of trees. And there's Hayes' name. Gotcha. All right. That's where we are. So 126 New York. This is where we are. Right there. And then there's Ziegler. Ziegler's farm. Or Ziegler's Grove, I meant. All right, so right next to us should be the 108th New York. So let's go over and see that. 108th New York, going down that way. Okay, we've come to a battery up here. 
several batteries. And clearly this is the second core. 108th right here. I'm guessing that was their marker right there from where they started. And then that's probably the marker right back there is where their line ended. There's a monument back here. Let's go see this. There's another monument back there. I'm guessing that's for that battery. I don't see any cannons over here. I see the second, or no, that's maybe the second core? No, that looks like the 12th core badge. Sixth core, excuse me. Sixth core artillery brigade. Six 12 pounders positioned right here. I'm guessing where that cannon used to be. <laughs> Six 12 pounders, Jesus. Just firing off in that distance there, over that ridge. And all those Confederates coming out of that tree line right there. Amazing. Hayes standing over there and on his horse. Urging his man on. Yeah, we got a lot more stuff to go. I see somebody on a horse back there. I'm guessing that's Hancock and the Pennsylvania Monument over there. Cool stuff. Cool stuff. All right, let's keep going. There's a battery over there. You can go take a look at that battery. Beautiful morning here in Gettysburg. Beautiful morning. And just as a reminder, later in a day or two, a couple days, we're going to be taking trips down to Harper's Ferry, Fredericksburg, Spotsylvania, Appomattox Courthouse, Antietam, Manassas, the Battle of the Wilderness. Seven days battle, maybe seven days battle. Uh, Richmond, we'll be going down there. So, another six core battery. Artillery Brigade. Six 10 pounder parrots. Parrots. As you can see right there, parrots. God, they just had artillery up the yin yang on this, on this ridge. Incredible. And these rock walls too. Let's go see this monument up here. I don't know what this one is representing. Man, that is amazing. Grand Army of the Republic Memorial. Senior Vice Commander in Chief of the GAR. Grand Army of the Republic Albert Wools, Wolsons of Duluth, Minnesota, the last survivor. Oh, geez. this clearly this is an old old marker super old 9th Massachusetts battery um, two guns by lieutenant somebody hmm clearly Napoleon's but man look at that That's amazing. Wow. And this is how they saw it. This is exactly what it looked like. This is the same, the anniversary of the battle is only a couple days away. This is exactly what they were looking at that day. The same foliage, same trees. 
a park ranger uh if you watch those park ranger videos those tours on youtube uh, one of the park rangers said that it, they've tried it as best as they can to make it exactly how it was back in 19, 1863 but there's one thing that you can't can't recreate and that is the foot because of this was all farmland is the livestock and the, when the livestock is on is on the the field you know they you know what they do they they eat up the that undergrowth you know like around those trees there you know they eat that stuff up they eat the grass they eat this all this foliage right here that's not on the path you know so just kind of try to keep that in the back of my head I mean, but this is as close though as you can get it they've done an amazing amazing job at trying to preserve this battlefield right now I don't really know where we're going we're going that way I think we should probably go on the main road this way I just kind of wanted to see what was behind here so but there's a statue up there of some guy so uh, I'll stop now and start filming when I get over there all right guys so we went down this path here and right here is the monument for the 111th New York of the 2nd Corps, 3rd Brigade, 3rd Division. This here is the right flank of the 12th New Jersey. So these guys were standing right here along this line and these guys were right behind him in support. This building was here, the fighting around it occurred. This is as far as the 11th Mississippi got to this wall here and they started right out there we see on our map right right there 111th New York 12th New Jersey and if we look all the way up here where they started massing there's at the very end the 11th Mississippi they made it this far but well, they just couldn't keep on going it's amazing go over here I'm gonna be there's monuments on both sides of the roads so I'm gonna have to keep going zigzag but Army of the Army of the Potomac 2nd Corps 3rd Division 3rd Brigade right there. Twelfth New Jersey Regiment I mean, the Potomac 2nd Corps, 3rd Division. Alexander Hayes. As we saw, Hayes is way back there on the, on the flank, on his right flank, making sure that's secure for all of eternity. And here's the left flank of the 12th New Jersey. right flank of the 125th New York and then here's the 125th New York of the 3rd Brigade the 3rd Division 2nd Corps let's take a look at what this is I know Armistead I see his monument up there Armistead's where he got skirmish line of the 2nd Regiment Delaware Volunteers. Man, just the, the absolute blood, the carnage that's in this field. It's weird. It's a weird feeling. It really is. But there's so much peacefulness and beauty to it as well, you know. Position held by the 1st Regiment Delaware Volunteer Infantry. 2nd Brigade, 3rd Division, Army of the Potomac. 2nd Corps. Direct statue was erected in 1885. For 
we're missing monuments here. <laughs> you can see them all apparently. Let's see what's back here. John Page Nicholson. Private of the 28th Pennsylvania Infantry. And then here would be the left flank of the 125th, as well as the right flank of the 30, 39th New York, right through here. And there he is, Second Corps, Major General Hancock. And of course, my boy, John Gibbon. Both of those guys are on my screen, say around my on my phone. Old Hancock and Gibbon. This looks like cavalry. Yep. 14th cavalry. Maybe. Could be something 14th Connect Connecticut Volunteers, maybe? Something like that. Actually, you can just look at our map. Let's see what we got. It's the 39th. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything. Hmm. Interesting. Try not to get run over again. Right here, here's the 39th New York Infantry Regiment. 2nd Brigade, 3rd Division of the 2nd Corps. This is all Hancock's men right here. Taking the brunt of it. This is it right here. This is Cemetery Ridge. We are on it right now. And there he is. There's Hancock. Oh, Winnie. Oh, Winnie, boy. Or actually, no. Never mind. I'm mistaken. That's George Meade. <laughs> Hancock, he has to be around here somewhere. I just figured it was now I'm trying to now I'm trying to retract my myself here. I just figured that was uh Hancock since you know we're around the, the second core. I thought it was interesting that he didn't have his hat on, the statue, but yeah, that that definitely looks like Meade. Definitely looks like Meade. Major General George Gordon Meade, United States Army, Commander-in-Chief of the Army of the Potomac. And then there's big round top, little round top, and then the big old, big fat Pennsylvania Monument. Man, look at the artillery. God. Just immense, immense artillery. Incredible. You can go over here and check out this battery. Napoleons. Let's see whose battery we have here. Army of the Potomac, Artillery Reserve, 1st Regular Brigade. These guys were Army. Six 12 pounders. 12 pound Napoleons. Nice. Good stuff. Alright, guys, we'll continue on the tour over there. New Connecticut right there. I'm guessing that's it right there. There's K battery. Or uh battery K. That attachment. Sharpshooters under uh 
sharpshooters that were under Han Hancock's command, the Second Corps. And there's North Carolina right there. Seventy first Pennsylvania. That was their right flank. Battery A. Four killed, twenty four wounded. Back over here. This looks like third corps markers. Fourth volunteer brigade. Artillery Reserve. Army of the Potomac. This is an old one. Second Brigade. First Division. Third Corps. Yep. So after Sickles' this Corps got mauled up, they must have moved him back here for support and also rest. Kind of like the 5th Corps with the, the 20th Maine. This was kind of the healing center right here. So they must have been all along here. Man, just think, you have this ridge here, you know? And when you have a ridge, the back, the, the back of it is completely not exposed whatsoever. And there's this little de depression right here where you can keep all your wounded, your supplies, your headquarters and everything. Colas Suaves, 114th Regiment, Pennsylvania Infantry, 3rd Corps. They were back here. Back here for support. This is amazing. This is so awesome. Where's Hancock at? That's what I want to know. I'm hoping that's him right there. Standing instead of on horseback. You think you'd be on horseback though, being a corps commander, kind of like Reynolds. Hopefully, the wind isn't too much on camera here. A lot more people are starting to come out. I think I might get me a uniform today. Or at least a hat. So if we go over here. I see Trimble. There's Hayes. He's right there. Trimble. Pettigrew. And this is where they they hit right here. His men. We have a big old battery here. Big old battery. Elected in honor of Lieutenant A. H. Cushing. Seven, 71st. Could you imagine that? Oh man. Seeing, seeing all those troops. 12, what was it, 12, 13,000? Army of the Potomac, 2nd Corps, Artillery Brigade, Battery A, 4th U.S. Artillery. Six, three-inch rifles. Six of them. Here he is. Brigadier General Lewis Armistead fell here. Wow, that's, wow. He made it, he got past, he was the one who got past. Those guys, those guys over there just made it to the wall and that was it. That was it. And here's that grove of trees that they so wanted to converge to. Carolina Regiment, 
or California. Oh, the only California monument right here. 71st Pennsylvania Volunteers. And it says California Regiment on top. And this is the 72nd Pennsylvania Infantry, clearly Zouaves, just by looking at the uniform. That's where it all happened, right here. I would say, I'd like to say they had a little bit of cover on that depression right there. But not much though, not much at all. Just amazing. The feel the fire, the amount of stuff flying through through the air, you know. It's just amazing. And here's the Irish monument. I can see the harp. Sixty ninth Pennsylvania Infantry. Sons of Aaron, 2nd Division, 2nd Corps, old, old Colonel Mars men, which of course Mar, by this time Mar was uh, not in the army anymore. Amazing. Let's see this monument. That's clearly Hancock there. Let's see what this one is. This looks like an old one. This doesn't say anything. <laughs> All right, so we're back. I was just over there, and we saw that, those batteries, and now here's where 2nd Division, 2nd Corps, 2nd Brigade, Alexander Webb, stationed right here. And then here's the man himself, here's Webb. See, I thought this was Hancock. Where, where is the Hancock monument? He has to be around here somewhere. This is, this is getting ridiculous. That's Alexander Webb right there. And he was the commander of... Commanding Philadelphia Brigade, which resisted Longstreet's assault. And over here is the monument, clearly a Pennsylvania one. First Pennsylvania Cavalry. Cavalry Corps. They were still fighting on the third day of battle. They were still fighting. Here's 3rd Corps, 3rd Main Regiment. Colonel M. B. Lakeman. Engaged in the Peach Orchard. Here we have a monument for the second division. Right here, here's the totals. Killed and died in wounds, nine officers, 90 men. Died of disease, 94 wounded, 373. Capture or missing, 152 total of 748 casualties, 106 Pennsylvania Infantry, Philadelphia Brigade. Amazing. Command's honor, Longstreet's assault. There's all of the battalions and the divisions 
basically the entire order of battle of Longstreet's assault. Right there. Wow. Wow. Six Corps. First New York Battery Artillery Brigade, Six Corps. It's right here. How many? How many was here? Double canister at 10 yards. Jeez. Right there. Boom, boom. Wow. Across the street. Battery B. First something artillery. This is uh, an old one. Artillery made. Second Corps Army of the Potomac, Napoleons. Second New York Infantry, Third Brigade, Second Division, Second Corps, Tammany Regiment. Ninety-two killed, wounded, three hundred twenty-eight missing, two hundred and ninety-eight. These are just absolutely beautiful. Beautiful monuments. They did an amazing job. Third Brigade, Second Division, New York Potomac, Second Corps. Right through here. All right, I'm gonna go back over here on the front line. It's gonna be a long video, I can tell. But that's okay. There's a lot to see here. There's not many, there's not much opportunity to uh, turn off the camera, walk away and turn back on the camera. So over here we have the 59th New York. And then over here, we have the Michigan Infantry, 7th Michigan Infantry. Second Corps. I'm not seeing too many monuments though of the Confederates of where those regiments ended up. Twelfth Massachusetts Infantry, the right marker. Massachusetts Infantry. Big old conglomerate. Third Brigade. A memorial to the United States Army. Here's all the, the order of battle of all the artillery. All the United States cavalry. Erected by the Congress to commemorate the service of the por portion of that portion of the Army of the Potomac. The cavalry and artillery and engineer parts of the battle, not just the infantry. 
Because the infantry get all that. Amazing. I don't know if you can see, but there's a horse horseback tour right down there. That sounds like fun. All right, who's this? Gibbon. All right, Gibbon. My man, my man Gibbon. There he is, there's a car coming. It will cross. But good ridge though. Really good ridge, definitely a high point. Gibbons with his awesome freaking mustache. God, I wish I had his mustache. Mine's pathetic. Gator General. There he is. Just get up here. Look at that. Very nice. Very nice. Said it's gonna be 91 degrees out today here in Gettysburg. And I can feel it starting to get hotter. First Brigade, Third Division, First Corps. The First Corps. So again, you have these brigades coming here as the safe place, you know, safest place on the battlefield to rest and recoup from a long, hard day's fighting the past two days. But little did they know though, this was gonna be the, the biggest one of them all, it was this day. But they still, they still pressed on. There's the 19th, I think, 19th Main, right there. Fifteenth, Massachusetts. Again, I don't really see many markers. There's a marker way out there. I did not see that one. But I'm guessing there's a marker out there too. I'm guessing that is the markers for the Confederates of how far they got, how far the, you know when they broke. First Brigade. Position held afternoon of July 3rd, 1863. Casualties, 10 killed, 16 wounded. First New York light battery. First Regiment of Minnesota, 2nd Corps. Very nice. And then we come down here. This is the 82nd New York Infantry of the 2nd Corps. Quite a long, a long haul here. Big old battlefield. Big old one. We'll go over here and see what this one is. Second division. Second division. Not the second core. Man, that Pennsylvania monument is just amazing. Absolutely amazing. Oh, I didn't even see that one right there. Ah, man, there's so many monuments around here. I'm gonna have to come back about five more times in my lifetime. Maybe even more. 149th Regiment, Pennsylvania Volunteers. That's a beautiful monument.
across the road here. To the 20th New York State Militia, Ulster's Guard. Right here, taking care of this area. A little bit of a higher, higher ground for the Confederates. That's for sure. Old people. There's a lot of old people here. But that's okay. They think I'm some weird young buck that doesn't like history. Artillery Reserve, 1st Regular Brigade, Battery C, 5th U.S. Artillery, 6 12-pounder Napoleons. Now, who is this? Uh, I'm trying to think who this could possibly be. Both of them are. Huh. 143rd Pennsylvania Infantry, I think that's what it said. First Corps. Yep, First Corps. Who is this guy? I'm not recognizing his face. Thirteenth Vermont Infantry. Okay. Is this First Corps? Yep. Third Brigade, Third Division of the First Corps. So big. Those guys were over there, way over there on the other side of Gettysburg. When uh, on my first first blog, the first day of the battle, we walked through there. Thirteenth Vermont. Yep. This must have been their colonel right there. This. Who's this guy? Why does this guy get a big old monument? You gotta go see that one too. There's just so much to look at. Vermont. In honor of her sons who fought on this field, Vermont. Huh. I need to brush up on my history. I don't even know these guys. Jeez. District Master's falling behind. This one is. Thirteenth volunteer, right at the Tattered Brigade. Huh. I wonder what that monument is over there. Interesting. And they passed right through that barn there. They passed all along through there. All right, I'll see you guys over there. Okay, so when we stopped, I was right over there. There's a monument back here for the first core of where they were stationed at. I tell you what, it just like went 10 degrees higher since I turned off the camera. It got hot fast. And I went to go down the trail to see what this is. That's where he was wounded. Right here. And I gotta say, quite a a little tiny peak in in the all the blood and the battle raging on. There was this little little ridge this little hill right here that we're standing on and he was right here commanding commanding the troops being a good commander doing his job the utmost there he was wounded and of course he survives the battle as we all know people ask him to run for president he never ends up getting the presidency I don't I forget if he ran or not and then this is 
19th Main Infantry, their left flank. Their right flank is back there. Man, there's a lot of, a lot of stuff to look at. Big old Pennsylvania monument. All right, guys. I think I'm gonna end it here for uh, Seminary Ridge. Stay classy. I thought I was recording, but I wasn't. General Pleasanton of the Cavalry Corps. We're on the Pennsylvania Monument. Back there was the first corps is where they were resting and then right here right around us is where the third sickles third corps was of what's left of it after the disaster on the second day of him moving way out there near the peach orchard so this is all third corps if you see the, the rhombus right there reynolds general reynolds of the first corps general mead this is an amazing monument. Look at all the all the artillery. Just tons of batteries. Tons of batteries. Lincoln. Right here. Curtis. Or Curtin. We also got I don't know who Curtin is. <laughs> Hancock. I finally found Hancock. There he is. Gorgeous bastard. And then Bernie. Of the third corps and i'm guessing bernie was in command here of the third of the third corps since sickles was uh busy getting his leg chopped off busy getting his leg chopped off let's go up all right after a long walk upward we're here here's the battlefield right here Third core, look at all those cannons down that street. Thousands of guys charging this way. If we go over here, all the cannons down below there. It's the peach orchard. Sickles was. Just think, he was, Sickles was supposed to be all the way back there, but yet, he moved all the way over there. And I can tell, I, I can see what he's talking about, that ridge, that little ridge, it's, it's good for artillery to be positioned on there and batter the hell out of them. Just goes right over, right over that valley that you see there. Amazing. And of course, the big round top, the little round top. We'll be going over there next time. Good stuff. All right, guys. Well, I think this concludes our semin Seminary Ridge tour. Minnesota down there. Canada's down there. We'll start back up either over at the Peach Orchard or over at the wheat field there in Little Round Top in Devil's Den. All right, guys. That's about it. Talk to you later. Okay, so I've walked a little ways from the Pennsylvania Monument and uh, you got the 148th Regiment Pennsylvania Infantry right here, but just kind of wanted to point out these cannons here, all these batteries. There's a little bit from First Corps from the first day right there. Uh, right here is a marker for the first division of the second, second Corps right here of the Army of the Potomac. But all these cannons, look at, they had all the way back there, they had an amazing range of fire and just boom, 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 boom on that other, other ridge.
boom, boom, boom. And then Lee's cannons are all along the other side, just hammering on, on this end as well. You know, it's not just the not just the Union that have the advantage when it comes to artillery, but definitely though, definitely the the Union though had more of an advantage the closer and closer those troops got. That's for sure. Very interesting. Four 12 pounders deployments. Got some rifles up ahead. Got some parrot guns, it looks like. Cool stuff. Alrighty. See you in a little bit. Okay, so I've walked quite a ways from Seminary Ridge, which is down the road there. And now I'm over where the 6th Corps was. And if you see that cannon right there, that right there is uh, the headquarters of Sedgwick, General Sedgwick of the 6th Corps. And then right here is General Sykes and the 5th Corps headquarters right here. So now we're going to be seeing a lot of 5th Corps monuments. And just to orientate yourself, the wheat field is right over there. Devil's Den is over there on the ridge. And we are heading close to Little Round Top. Got 37th Massachusetts right here. Little Round Top is right over those trees. I can't tell you who this monument is going to be for. This big guy on a horse here. Um, he's got a hat. That's one thing. Kind of looks like Meade, but Sedgwick. I see it right now. General Sedgwick. This is the left flank of the 37th Massachusetts, 10th Massachusetts on the right, their right flank. And here's the monument for the 10th. Second Brigade, 6th Corps, 3rd Division. Huh. <clears throat> July 2nd. July 2nd. So, this is where Sedgwick was, the 6th Corps, on the second day of the battle. Longstreet's doing his assault. He's coming over here. We'll be up there. We'll be, we'll be able to see a lot better. Let's go see Sedgwick. Old Sedgwick. Major General John Sedgwick in command of the 6th Corps of the Army of the Potomac. Very nice. Directed by the state of Connecticut. Or erected by the state of Connecticut. Alright, let's move up there. Get a better view of the valley. Boy, it's hot. It is hot out. This is the monument for the 1st Massachusetts Cavalry. Let's head up there. I don't know where we, how we can get up there though. I think there might be a path right here. This is tick heaven. So far, no ticks, but uh, that's yet to come. It's eventually gonna happen. We don't have really have ticks in where I am, where I live. All right. 93rd. Battery C. Fifth core. Okay, so we got some fifth core. Fifth core battery here. Ooh, this is gonna be cool. This is gonna be cool. There we, there we go. Wheat fields right over there, right over those trees. 
There's the valley. Dell's Den is right over there. That's a little round top right there. Right next to us. Awesome stuff. Seminary Ridge right over there. If you see that little tower there, that's the uh, that's the monument of that one guy. I, the, I think it's the Vermont. I think that was the Vermont one. I didn't know the guy that was on top at all. Shame on me. All right. I see we're just gonna keep on pressing forward. I may, might probably make this into two parts. Seminary Ridge one, one day, and then I'll do a little round top the next day, but I'm feeling good. I feel like I should just keep on going. So that's what I'm gonna do. Six core monument over there. 29th or second brigade. Fifth Army Corps, huh? I don't know what that monument is over there. Let's go check her out. Cause it says Fifth Army Corps, and then it's got a Sixth Corps symbol on it. Seventh Massachusetts Infantry. Oh, six. Huh. Look like five. Look like a five. I was wrong. There's no mistakes over here at Gettysburg National Military Park. Everybody's so nice here. That's what I really like about Gettysburg. Everybody's so nice. Nine o'clock is when all the shops usually start opening up and all the people that own the shops are cleaning out the front of their shops second rhode island volunteers and they just they wave at you when you're walking by smile big old smile on their face like they've known you for years it's just an awesome place amazing place to be all right so i think we should just go through there maybe or go up the hill, I don't know. I think I'll go this way. I think we'll see. We'll go to Devil's Den, how about that? We'll see a little round top and big round top from, from the bottom. Instead of looking down, we'll, we'll do that later. Maybe in the morning. Maybe tomorrow morning I'll go do that. But. Another six, fifth main infantry, right here. Right here on the right flank. Oh, I don't think we can get through here. Well, we could, but I'm trying to get as, as much ticks as possible, as least as possible. Well, it looks like we're going that way then. See you in a little bit. All right, so last time we talked, I was over there, heading down this road here. And now here's the wheat field right over here. And Devil's Den is over there. A little round top is over there. This is still part of Sixth Corps right here. Got some regiments that are here and a brat battery as well. Third Brigade, Frank Wheat, Brigadier General Frank Wheat. Wheaton, thank, sorry, Wheaton. 139th Pennsylvania Infantry, Third Brigade, Third Division, Sixth Corps. And this battery here, I had to go up that way, but it's a private home. Clearly the Fifth, Fifth Corps Artillery. Third Massachusetts Battery. I'm gonna go over the rocks here, which you should not do that, but I did it. I did it. I'd rather do that than go up a private driveway. Oh. All right, try not to get right over here. And we are going up Devil's Den right now.
and there's a little round top. right over there. This guy's got a hardy hat on. I wonder... That's pretty. This is quite a beautiful place. It is absolutely gorgeous here. Wish there's a lot of irony. This is a beautiful place. Beautiful, beautiful place they fought and died for. That's for sure. All right, who's this guy? This looks like Crawford. Yep. Brigadier General Crawford, commander of the Pennsylvania Reserves. Yep, that's him. And his men were right along in here. Right all in here. There's a little round top. This is just absolutely amazing being here it's just unreal army of the army of the potomac fifth corps third division by brigade general samuel w crawford and a little round top looks spectacular all right guys i'm gonna walk up here maybe walk up the hill there see what we can see we'll be back in a little bit Okay, so we've stumbled across a artillery brigade, six 10-pounder parrots from the Third Corps. Right now we are just below a little round top, big round top up there. Devil's Den is right over that ridge, and the wheat field is right over that ridge. So Third Corps, this is where Sickles had his men, very close to here. Up a ways though, but we'll continue our journey that way. Alright, I found there's ticks. There's fucking ticks. Look at them. Look at them all. Get out of here, you bastards. Oh, all, all over the place. Jesus. But I caught them though, just the time. Caught them. bastards and those were new ones there was two of them that were on my legs here that were trying to get in through the hair but thankfully I got thick hair on on my old legs here like Joe Biden got hairy legs there's a little round top all right more with the tour